All right. This is like clown music going on. I'm getting my gloves. Welcome, everybody. Got a couple surprises tonight. I hope you're doing well. Let's get our glove ASMR out of the way. Go on. Go on. All right, there we go. Gloves on. I got some spicy CBD water. It's black cherry flavored, so now you're going to get spicy water ASMR. There you go. Oh, that's actually really good. No, not CBT water. No, no, no. That won't do at all. All right, so we're going to open some cards. And then we're going to do some Enterprise. I probably should take a break from playing Loop Hero while we watch Enterprise because I've been playing it like all day today and yesterday. And I'm probably going to like burn myself out on it. All right, so I'm not having you vote today. No voting. This is a not a democracy. We got to get more forced labor camp cards. Um, but I got a surprise here. Oh. Oh. oh, look, you can see the reflection of the album art. I got to bring this over here real quick. Um, all right. Is that weed on the desk? All right, check this shit out. Can you even see this fully on screen? There we go. That kind of works. Uh, this came in the mail today. I forgot I ordered this one. I mentioned it. I ordered this one like two weeks ago. Three of the other boxes all came at the same time. This one just showed up today. So not only do you get the satisfaction, you know what was more satisfying to me? This is why I bought the other cards is when I got that first box and I unwrapped this and I like popped it up so that it was like a display case thing. It was like, wow, that was fun. But you only get to do that once per box. So, you know. You know? Where's my blade? I don't think, uh, I think I left my razor in the other room. So we're just going to get some scissor action in here. Uh, I think I looked up what Enterprise episodes were tonight. And I don't actually remember if they were any good or not. There we go. Just rip it. So I bought this pack mainly because it was cheap. Like this is probably the cheapest expansion by far. Nobody wants this shit. I hate the Mirror Universe. I'm going to be honest. Mirror Universe episodes are probably my least favorite Star Trek episodes. Because they're literally like, hey, let's take Star Trek and turn it into a generic sci-fi show. Uh, why buy this then? Because it's a mix of DS9 cards. Here we go. Let's pop this bad boy. You, you guys can't really see, which is unfortunate. And I'm not going to adjust my camera for you. Uh, that's like all I can do. I'm not going to turn it. Hor I don't have a way to hold it horizontally. Um, so it has DS9 cards. And it also has TOS cards. And I have no TOS cards. They didn't start doing TOS cards for the card game for a while. It was all like 90s Trek. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that box. You got our insert thing here. Look, we can get Dax. Vic Fontaine is in this bitch. We can get Vic Fontaine. This thing is really wrinkly. This box was definitely squeezed at some point. Yeah, like, look at this shit shifting around. All right. Look, there's a fucking Gorn. There's a Gorn on the package. So we'll open up a few of these. Maybe we'll get something cool. I think, I don't think there are that many cool cards in this set. I'll be honest. I think they probably mostly suck. Uh, let's see who's on the box, though. Uh, this... Let's get focused here. 
Uh, there's Kira and that guy. Uh, we got Uhura and uh, Crazy Sulu. We got, uh, what's the uh, gate thing called? The I forget the fucking name right now. It was in Discovery, too. Uh, we got a Gorn, a Corner Gorn, Corn Gorn. <gasps> There's Garrick. Uh, and then we got an Enterprise. That's it. Who's on the corner over here? Is that Cisco as a Klingon? The fuck is that? Whatever. Come here now. All right, let's dig in. Let's get. Let's take the top three to start. Maybe we'll do four. Who knows? I gotta get this shit out of the way. By shit, I mean this awesome box of collectible Star Trek memorabilia, folks. Everyone should go out and buy some of these cards so that um, they end up being worth more. Where did I put my scissors? Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah, we like the cards. All right, box number one. So these have 11 cards in them. So the four, four rule should apply. The rule of four. Ooh, these are bent as fuck. I was, I saw that you could buy like a case of these for like less than a hundred, uh, like a hundred bucks. Look how bent these are. Oof. All right, let's do one, two, three, four. Uh, we got the ISS Constitution from Star Trek TOS. Uh, typical battle cruiser of the Terran Empire, outfitted for a variety of missions, including conquest, domination, subjugation, and imperial enforcement. Oh, damn. <gasps> Smiley! Oh, I must have counted the, okay, the desk, the, the so hold on, I'm a little excited here. Uh, <laughs> woo! Smiley! Woo! Um... <laughs> so uh let's see there was one card so i should do so it's six i guess unless there are two rares in this pack um all right here's smiley second leader of the terran rebellion miles o'brien commanded the defiant which he helped construct using plans stolen from deep space nine there he is god he's bent though that sucks i mean it's not like i'm gonna try and sell a smiley this one's going next to my nightstand. He's got navigation, transporter skill, leadership, anthropology, construct starship or crossover. This is why the smiley is why I bought the mirror mirror pack straight up right there. All right. Uh, Terran outpost, uh, hidden enclave and meeting place for the Terran rebels of the mirror universe. Lieutenant Kyle. This dude looks like a fucking Kyle. Uh, John Kyle <laughs> is relief helmsman and transporter technician. Sorry, anyone named Kyle in chat right now. Aboard Starship Enterprise. Born in Sheffield, England. Holds level two pilot certificate. Studies alien graphology. <laughs> John Kyle. Uh, emblem of the Empire. It's just, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys could try and justify to me why the Mirror Universe stuff is good. Because to me, it's just like one of the biggest weird plot hole things that just reads like fanfic every time. Security guard Ensign Davis. Look at this guy. He's got an I Dream of Genie thing going on. Uh, I wonder if there's an I Dream of Genie customizable card game. Security guard aboard ISS Enterprise. Easily dispatched by Dr. McCoy and Mr. Scott with the old you distract him, I'll hit him with the hypo trick. Wow, nice description. Gant. Typical member of the Shikar resistance cell. Cared for the mortally wounded Kira Taban. 
now a part of Kira Narice's memories of her father's death. Enhanced attack ship. Jem'Hadar attack ship constructed in the Alpha Quadrant. One of the first Dominion fighter craft upgraded with Breen energy dampening technology in 2375. See, this cards, I, I went and I looked at what was in this pack and I saw stuff like this. It's basically supplemental DS9 cards, like last season DS9 cards are in this pack too. It's like last season or two. And I was like, okay, well, it's cheap and I want Deep Space Nine cards, honestly. And the Dominion and DS9 sets are ungodly expensive, so... Let's just look at this guy with his little flute. Uh, one of many Bajoran nationals living aboard Tarak Nor. The intendant, quite a fan of his talents, often invites him uh, to perform at special functions. Like, I think Kai Wynn is in here, and I think Dukat as Angel is in here. Representative of security officers serving on the Klingon Cardassian Alliance. Part of the Intendant's elite assault team. I could be wrong about that, to be honest. Uh, help track down Professor Sisko. And then, um, yeah, so we got to do, I guess, six. The the order of the cards is weird, though. Uh, Mirror Universe, Disrupt Alliance. Mirror Universe, Bajor Region, Bajor. Conduct sabotage operations on Bajoran Homeworld. I really like the mission. Some of the mission cards... When you get a rare one, it doesn't feel very good, but like the common and uncommon ones, like I, I, I like the mission cards. They're cool. All right, we got Smiley. I could just stop tonight with Smiley and be good. But we might get a Gorn. A corner Gorn. <laughs> corner Gorn with Morn. All right, Smiley, you chill over there with my little gnome fella. Let me take a sip of this beverage. This is what it looks like, by the way. It's, it's good. Mm. It actually tastes like something. Boomer juice? No. It's sparkling water. With a little dash of CBT in there. I haven't been sleeping well. The last, actually, this morning, I got a new synthesizer today. Uh, it's called a JV1080. I'm not going to show it on stream, but um, it's cool. And I got a good deal on it. But uh, it was getting delivered early this morning. And I was already up super late. And so I just stayed up. And I and then I it got delivered and I went to bed, like, in the middle of the day. And it did not feel good. All right. I have the ability to easily show it. That would involve showing the rest of my office, which I'm not going to do right now. Or probably ever. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's try six. Yeah, I got a JV1080 and it has four expansion cards in it. And three of them are ones I expansion cards I really wanted. And the expansion cards themselves go for like fucking almost $300 on eBay. It's ridiculous. It has orchestra one, two special effects and hip hop. The hip hop one actually has some cool stuff on it. There's some cool hits and drum samples, but I don't need drum samples. I have like a million and I'm the next stuff I'm planning on working on. I'm not even going to use drums very often, at least not like normal drums, like kit drums and shit. These are bent as fuck, too. I wonder if this whole box is bent. That's one thing I've found buying off of eBay. Some of these things, like, really don't get stored well. And it's really hard to tell from the picture on eBay whether it's fucked or not. Quantum Fissure, a fragile intersection of countless parallel realities. An attempt to scan one using a Bajoran uh, subspace differential pulse was interrupted by a Bajoran warship with disastrous results. All right, I guess this is from TNG. Classic disruptor. Standard phase disruption weapon used in uh, the mid 23rd century. Technology shared between the Klingon and Romulan empires during their brief alliance in the late 2260s. <laughs> this jabroni. 
Devano. <laughs> Uh, Romulan medical staff authored several papers studying the effects of cloaking fields and other technology on Romulan physiology. Uh, does the Enterprise uh, from the end of TNG have a special name? Uh, its name in the card game is the Future Enterprise, and I do have it uh, somewhere. I'd have to go look for it. I could maybe do that while we're watching Enterprise. Uh, it's like the rare the only ultra rare i think in the original set and and the card just says future enterprise i think other people call it the enterprise is it the j i don't know baylock you this little guy humanoid eh, eh. humanoid envoy from the First Federation, gentle, benevolent, and mature adult male, despite his youthful appearance, enjoys drinking Tranya. I can't wait until we watch this episode. That's uh, Clint Howard, who was a Ferengi in Enterprise, believe it or not. I'm pretty sure he's one of the youngest and oldest people to like <laughs> be on the show. I guess at two different times, whatever. Crossover. Uh, okay. Oh, another Ensign Davis. Epic. Mirror dagger. Ah, yes. In the mirror universe, daggers are quite different. Small blade weapon used for personal protection. Ubiquitous in the mirror universe. Quite handy when an unexpected career advancement opportunity presents itself. Agony booth. Uh, no description. I mean, that's a good, that's a good picture. Equipment, self-stealing, self-sealing stem bolts, a hey. Used in producing reverse ratcheting router planers, routing planers, Jake and Nog traded 5,000 wrappages of yamak sauce for 100 gross of stem bolts, which they sold for seven tessipates of Bajoran land. As you do. Oh, look, another crossover card in the same pack. Huh. Hey, look at that. Uh, Scotty. Oh, evil Scotty, I guess. Chief Engineer Scott. I'm not as excited. I'll be excited about this once we watch this episode. Scotty's fine. This isn't the real Scotty. There's also TNG old Scotty as a card. Uh, Mr. Scott is chief engineer of the ISS Enterprise. A relentless taskmaster, his department has the highest rate of turnover on the ship. Interesting. All right, we got Smiley and Scotty. Two pretty good rares. Maybe we'll only do three packs tonight. Who would win in a fight, Scotty or O'Brien? Uh, O'Brien. That's, I mean, you're really going to ask that question? I mean, I guess, what do you mean by a fight? Like, just like punching each other or like a, a like an engineer battle where they have to out engineer each other? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another fairly bent, bent set here. I wonder if the oh, the whole thing and the lower ones don't look as bad. Ops, Mary Universe. All right. I mean, cool. Rukor, chief helmsman aboard Regency One, survivor of several Badlands expeditions in search of the Rebel stronghold, more than any other pilot in the Alliance. All right. Hey, look, a D7 battle cruiser. Klingon battle cruiser. I like that some of the common cards, like the ships, I don't ever mind getting a ship. Unless it's a duplicate of a fucking, like, shuttle, then it can get fucked. Klingon Battle Cruiser, circa 2267. Some were provided to the Romulan Star Empire in exchange for cloaking technology. Commander Charvnek, Captain One. 
I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. Despite his protestations uh, to Captain Kirk, Dr. McCoy treated a grievously wounded Horta. Uh, Thermal concrete from the supplies of the Starship Enterprise made an excellent wound covering. There he is, looking young. Tagus, representative security officer serving in the Romulan military, assigned to bodyguard duties in the capital city on Romulus. Okay. Uh, guy. Wow. Back to back. Look at that. Multidimensional transport device. Modifies transporter function to allow beaming to an alternate universe. Developed in the mirror universe. Used by Smiley, Professor Sisko, the intendant, and others to cross over. Historical research gateway witness historical events firsthand using the guardian of forever. Oh yeah, that's what it is uh, that I forgot. Guardian of forever. It's a rock donut. Alliance Vorcha. It's a cool one. Fast and powerful battle cruiser, backbone of the Alliance fleet. Their only weakness is in their targeting systems. They've been known to chase warp shadows. I think I saw that our rare is a Klingon card. Uh, with the field density between the mirror universe and their own closing quickly, Mr. Scott and Dr. McCoy rushed to complete modifications to the transporters. I, if this was like Crazy Wharf, I'd be cool with Crazy Wharf. Let's see. Nope. It's the big ass fucking... This is cool. It's the flagship uh, from DS9, the uh, mirror universe Klingon flagship. It's Crazy Wharf's shirt, uh, shirt, <laughs> ship, yeah. Massive flagship of the uh, Klingon Cardassian Alliance, commanded by Regent Wharf, has a stolen cloaking device installed and sabotaged by Rom. There it is. Hey, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool with just doing three tonight. Those were three, three cool cards, for sure. The Regency one. Let's get them all in here. Yo, someone's popping off on the sitar. Got Smiley. We got Regency 1. We got Chief Engineer Scott. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about Smiley. For sure. We could do, you know, let's do one Ferengi pack. Maybe we'll get them worn. Maybe we'll get them worn. Who knows? I mean, since I'm, I'm I'm feeling good right now, I the Ferengi really disappointed us the last few times we opened it, so. Right, let's get him out here. Uh, wasn't it six for these two? One, two, three, four, five, six. See, even the Ferengi ones, now these aren't that bent. They're not perfectly straight. But they aren't that bent. What happened to... Why are we doing this? Uh... Oh, I guess that album was over. That's fine. All right. Let's see what we got. Event. This is a new one. 34th rule of acquisition. War is good for business. 
Ooh, this is not. Ooh, tulipberry wine. One of my favorite episodes, actually. Dosai Planet. Meet with aggressive Dosai negotiators to discuss lucrative wine contract and distribution rights. Parlanor, we got him. Ferengi Conference, we got one of those. Burrell, we got one of these, I believe. Yeah, we got one of these yesterday. Tactic Ferengi Energy Weapon, we got one of those. Uh, oh, cool, another another mission. Uncommercialized system, survey remote region, seek out, oh, uh, did we get this exact one? I know we got one with a similar description, but I don't think the picture was the same. It looks like our rare is a Ferengi. Um, gold press latinum, got that. <sighs> oh, I got excited for a second. I thought it was Zek. It's another Grand Negus, though. This is the first Grand Negus. So maybe that's cooler, but I mean, it's not Wallace Shawn, so. Uh, the first Grand Negus credited with writing the rules of acquisition. Appeared in Quark's dream, looked a lot like Rom. Told Quark the rules were a marketing ploy. So we kind of got a Rom card. We got Grand Negus, fake Grand Negus dream Rom. Hey, that's actually, you know what? It's better than some of the shit we got yesterday. So that is kind of cool, actually. And that's it for tonight, ladies and germs. I had a little glove squeak there. Let me take a sip of this, this here juice. Mmm. Good. Remove the gloves. Thank you for, um, thank you for playing. We should do it again sometime. <laughs>